istikharah, the seeking of goodness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the question is, how do we engage in this act of worship from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You get up and you perform your wudu like you perform for any salah. And then you perform two raka'at of nafil prayer. Two raka'at of prayer that is not obligatory. You perform those two raka'at of salah and then you make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the dua that is mentioned in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a great dua full of meaning. Many of us have heard of istikhara. We know of istikhara. We've done istikhara. But how often do we think of the meaning of the words that we are uttering before our maker? What is it that we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What does this great dua mean? From Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, istikhara is so important that Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu says in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from him that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to teach us istikhara in the same manner that he taught us a surah from the surah of the Quran. Allahu Akbar. That means that istikhara is so important that he actually emphasized it to the extent that he taught it to them like a surah from the surah of the Quran. Allahu Akbar. So what is this dua? Let us get down to it. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmika. O oh Allah, I ask you for goodness with the knowledge that you have. What you are doing is acknowledging that the Knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is better and superior to yours. So I ask you for goodness with your knowledge. You know what is good, you know what is bad. Oh Allah, grant me that which is good. And I seek power from you with your power, oh Allah. Your power is vast and supreme. Mine is weak. I seek for power. I seek power from you, O oh Allah. I seek the ability to do this act from you, O oh Allah. وَأَسْأَلُكَ مِنْ فَضْلِكَ العظيم. And I ask you from your vast favor and bounty. فَإِنَّكَ تَقْدِرُ وَلَا أَقْدِرُ For indeed you are able and I am not able. O oh Allah, you are able and I am not able. وَتَعْلَمُ وَلَا أَعْلَمُ And you know and I do not know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows in the manner that we do not know. So we do not know what is good and what is bad. Only Allah really knows. And you are the knower of the unseen. As we said, that which is the apparent is what we can tell. This person is good for me. This business deal is good for me. But the rest, what is going to happen in the future, only Allah knows. So you're asking him with his knowledge of the future. To give you that which is good for you. Allahumma in kunta ta'lamu anna hadha al-amra khayrun li fi dini wa ma'ashi wa aqibati amri faqdurhu li wa yassirhu li thumma barik li fi. Oh Allah, if you know that this particular action and you should take the name. So for example, hadha uh, al-zawaj, this marriage is good for me. Khayrun li faqdurhu li fi dini wa ma'ashi. In my deen, in my religion, and in my life, wa ma'ashi, wa aqibati amri, and at the end of my matter, meaning in every aspect of my life, in my deen, and in my dunya, and at the end of the day, if this is good for me, faqdurhu li, thumma barik li, wa yassirhu li, thumma barik li fih. And make it easy for me and then grant me barakah in it, O oh Allah. So you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whatever is good for me, grant it to me. If it is good for me, grant it to me. Allahumma in kunta ta'lamu anna hadha al-amra sharru li fi dini wa ma'ashi wa aqibati amri fasrifhu anni wasrifni anhu.
Oh Allah, if you know that this is bad for me in my deen and in my dunya and in the end of my matter, at the end of the day, whether this is good or bad, if it is bad for me, then فصرف هو عني وصرفني عنه. So turn it away from me and turn me away from it. وقدر لي الخير حيث كان ثم صرفني ثم أرضني به. And grant me good wherever it may be. If it is in this, then in this, Alhamdulillah. If it is in the next one, then in the next one, Alhamdulillah. Give me goodness wherever it may be, O oh Allah, even if it is something that I despise and I don't like. ثُمَّ أَرْضِنِي بِهِ Then make me happy with it.